everybody thanks for coming back yet again uh, I don't know what's gonna be in this video I know we'll start out the day with feeding all the cows feeding the calves I don't normally take an hour or two and then I hope to get my track hoe I moved it to the job site about three weeks ago but uh, cattle have kind of been the priority here the last couple weeks but I hope to get in that and get some stuff done today my last video I showed you guys us treating the cows uh, two days ago we treated all the calves we had 103 calves that were essentially ready to start feeding out we had another 20 or so that were born late so we put them back out to pasture with their mom uh, and then we separated the steers from the heifers so in our steer barn here is where the steers are I don't think we've counted how many steers we got but I'm guessing maybe 55 or 60. So we'll feed the calves twice a day. There's dad putting in some grain. It's mostly oats with a little bit of corn and some molasses. So we'll uh, let them eat that down and we'll put in some Timothy hay. And like I said, we'll do that twice a day. Smile, you're on YouTube. So we'll feed these for at least 45 days, maybe longer, uh, depending on the markets. And then uh, we used to feed them, fatten them all the way out, but we just don't have the, the time and the labor to be able to do that anymore. So we'll, when we get rid of these, most of them will weigh around. 700 pounds average I guess and then they'll probably go out to a feed lot out west where some other somebody else will fatten them up to 12 1300 pounds
So just rolling them down the hill works sometimes. They kind of unroll just like a roll carpet would. But as it's getting colder, it's start the hay, the moisture in the hay is starting to freeze. And they don't unroll as easy. And we got a bale feeder, a bale feeder wagon that'll do this automatically. Why we haven't hooked that up yet, I don't know, but I think it's about time for work. Move. Okay, it's just after nine o'clock. All the morning chores are done. So now it's traco time. I'm heading over to the farm now. Like I said, we brought the machine over about three weeks ago and I haven't even seen it since. Hopefully it starts up. Hopefully the uh, windows ain't busted out of it. We got a lot of problems with trespassers on this particular farm because it sits right on the edge of town. And for whatever reason, there's a bunch of people that think it's public property. So going off on a little bit of a tangent here, gun season in Ohio finished up a couple weeks ago, and I did get me a decent buck. I didn't make a video because I'm not the uh, most serious of deer hunters, but he was a nine point. I don't know what he scored, probably I'm guessing in the mid 130s. And then my daughter's boyfriend, he got a monster buck the first day of bow season i think it was 15 points and he had it officially scored by buck masters and i think it scored just over 187 points so the deer numbers were down at least for our farm this year normally there's five or six really nice bucks killed uh, but they're saying there was some sort of disease in our area and it just wiped them out and as far as i know we only had three bucks taken this year Well, no critters in the uh, engine compartments. The windows all look good. Let's see if she fires up. Oh. 
Oh yeah. So here's the uh, project. We've got about uh, 500 yards along the edge of this field. That's just full of junk. So I'm gonna try to clean it up. Uh, we're not really gonna be gaining a lot of ground. Uh, but basically I'm just tired of looking at it. And it may help improve the yields along the edge of this field, but uh, this stuff's not gonna get any smaller. So I figure why not clean it up now? Original plan of attack was to tear all this stuff down and burn it, but I've only gone maybe 50 yards so far today, and I got a bunch of crap piled up. So I don't know if burn's gonna be an option. I think I've modified my plan a little bit, and I'm just gonna tear everything up and then pile it back on this levee. And then uh, maybe burn a little bit at a time. I really don't want to spend all winter over here, but the amount of junk that's in here, that's probably what it's going to require. I am about 20 yards from a four lane highway. So if I do decide to burn this stuff, I'll have to be smart about it. Obviously, uh, burn it when the wind's blowing away from the traffic. Uh, but I will say, one of my favorite pastimes is drinking beer and burn brush. Just can't beat it.
about 4.30, I'm probably going to have to quit because the sun is directly in my eyes and I really can't see what I'm doing. Just kind of guessing. Which I'm not really good enough on this thing yet to be guessing. All right, that's gonna be the end of this video. Got a pretty good amount done today. I would say I'm halfway at least. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, America.